Good morning. Hope everybody is doing well. I wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about sugar. And I've done videos about sugar before, but um, I've been having the same conversation with a number of people over the past couple of weeks. So I thought that I would come in here and talk a little bit about three locations where you might have um, some hidden sugar that you need to evaluate. Um, first of all, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian, nothing like that. I am giving you my opinion. I'm giving you my information based on my experience um, with my own health and wellness journey. Okay, so that number one disclaimer. Second disclaimer that I would like to um, say is that I have actually pulled a bunch of products from my fridge and my freezer and my cupboards and I'm going to go through and we're going to check the sugar content in these items. This is not an evaluation. This is not a critique. It's not research about anything or any products at all. It's just looking at the labels and seeing how much sugar content is in each item okay and that's it okay so there's three different places where you might find some sugar that's hiding okay so number one is beverages okay so i've got some coffee i have some tea okay i there's no sugars in these ones that i use however if you get flavored coffees or flavored teas, I would check to see what the sugar content is in those. I have um, unsweetened almond milk here. It has, oh my gosh, I need my glasses. It has, oh, zero grams of sugar. So good for me, that's fantastic. Um, I also have some hot chocolate. My husband loves this from um, Epicure, it's fantastic. It has 11 grams of sugar for two tablespoons, okay? So I just want you to note these numbers, yeah? Orange juice, lots of people like to drink orange juice. Yes, my husband has it every single morning. Uh, 23 grams of sugar in one cup of orange juice, 250 mils, okay? And the last thing I wanna talk about is if you are a wine drinker, or beer drinker, any kind of alcohol, there is no sugar content listed on the bottle uh, so you will have to do some research on your own to find out where that hidden sugar is. Uh, but I would strongly recommend look at your beverages and see if there's any hidden sugar in there. Oh, and my husband drinks ginger ale and there's a can of ginger ale, President's Choice ginger ale. In one can, there's 35 grams of sugar. Okay, so if you're drinking pop or juices, we don't, the only juice we buy is orange juice for Jeff. Um, and that's 23 grams of sugar. So look and see where is the sugar hiding in those beverages, okay? So that's the number one spot you're gonna look. The second place you're gonna look is I want you to look in your fruits and vegetables. So I only have um, these frozen blueberries and they have 13 grams of sugar for three quarters of a cup, okay? Um, when we talk about fruits and vegetables, they are not created equally. And so the thing that I would recommend that you do is check, um, you can Google it, the glycemic index and different fruits and vegetables have a certain amount of sugar in them. So the higher they are on the glycemic index, the more sugar they have. So for example, carrots are a perfect example. Carrots are high on the glycemic index. And the problem with that is you eat them, the sugar causes your blood sugar to go up spike and then when it's uh, out of your system and you've used it, you crash down, okay? So any of my dietitian or nutritionist friends who are on, on this uh, feed and who are watching the video, please feel free to comment and give a little bit more information about the glycemic index and how we you know should navigate that because I am definitely not an expert on that, but it's something to consider, okay? So different fruits, different vegetables have a different amount of sugar content in them, okay? Next, we're going to look at process things. So unfortunately, in our life, we use a lot of processed items. Okay, so I'm going to start with one of my favorites, which is I found out is not it's not it's worse than I thought. So this is my honey and I sometimes put honey in my tea. So for this one, one tablespoon of honey has 16 grams of sugar. Okay, um, breads. If you eat a lot of breads, these are simple uh, carbohydrates and you know, so meaning that there's not a lot in them and it's harder to it's easier to break them down they turn into sugar so this is a uh, bread that my husband has it says right on the package no sugar added 
And then when I look there, there's one gram of sugar per slice, okay? This one I got out of the freezer. This is my gluten-free buns. And these ones have six grams of sugar per bun. And then I want you to think about peanut butter, uh, jam. Okay, so this peanut butter has two grams of sugar for a tablespoon. This jam has eight grams of sugar, okay? So there's little things like this that there are sugar, there is sugar hiding in it, but you might um, not really think about it, or it's only a couple of grams, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I want you to be aware of that, okay? So this is some salsa, my husband loves salsa, two grams of sugar in this salsa. So there's all kinds of things that you get in a can or a jar or something that's prepared in a box, They have it has sugar in it. Four grams of sugar and ketchup if you like ketchup. This one I found really interesting. Tomato sauce in a can, sorry, and crushed tomatoes. So the tomato sauce has two grams of sugar for a quarter cup. The crushed tomatoes, which was surprising to me, actually has seven grams of sugar for half a cup. Okay, so it doesn't matter what items you have in your home, but the thing is that I want you to think about the thing I want you to think about is how much sugar in a day are you actually having, okay? So if I have a sandwich at lunch and I use this bread, that's two grams of sugar, yeah? If I, let's say I make grilled cheese. I don't have cheese in the house, so I'm not sure what the sugar content is, so you can look at your place. Um, but if I put ketchup with my sandwich, that's another four grams of sugar. So that's six. I'm up to six grams of sugar, and I haven't really done anything, right? I haven't really had a lot of food. And then let's say I have noodles for dinner, spaghetti for dinner, and I use the crushed tomatoes. That's seven grams here, and there's also some in your noodles. So I want you to think about how your day is divided up with the food that you're eating, and not just the food, the amount of sugar, like those blueberries, those frozen, blue they're blueberries. Blueberries are great, right? What did I say, 13 grams, 16 grams of sugar? That's a lot of sugar okay, from something that's supposed to be healthy. So what I want you to think about is where is the sugar hiding in your food, okay? So I've given you three things to think about. One, your beverages, okay? Definitely like or any kind of juice, I would say don't have that. You can, I'm recommending maybe that you might not want to, okay? So beverages is something to check. Number two, you're gonna check the fruits and the vegetables, check the glycemic index. So the higher they are they, on the glycemic index, the more sugar that they have, okay? So you want to eat ones that are on the low end of the glycemic index, okay? And then the third thing I want you to think about is all the things that come in packages. Everything. Salad dressings, vinegars, you know, condiments, honey, sauces, all of those things. Where is the sugar hiding? Because if... So like I said, my, you have a sandwich with two pieces of bread, some cheese, and some ketchup. You're probably at about 10 grams of sugar, assuming there's some in the cheese. I have a piece of toast for breakfast. There's another gram of sugar. Then I have some peanut butter and some jam, right? So I'm already, with not eating very much food, taking in so much sugar in my day. So I want you to think about where the sugar is coming from, okay? So... The thing to consider, and this is what I tell my clients, and this is what I've been talking to them about in the past couple weeks, is I want you to take stock of what you're eating. So I want you to make a log, everything that you eat, everything that you drink, and write down what the sugar content is. And at the end of each meal, and then the end of each day, I want you to add up how much sugar you had in that day. So I had a particular client of mine who is very healthy. She exercises all the time. She eats very well, okay? And if you looked at what she ate, you would think, oh, like she's salmon and vegetables. She doesn't have a lot of grains. She doesn't have a lot of dairy. You know, she eats really, really well. But when she actually looked at her uh, food log, she actually ended up one day having, I don't know, it was 54 grams of sugar, but just through salad dressing on her salad, you know, salsa with her dinner, like all these different things that we don't really think are a big deal, but they add up. Like this, like I tell you, my honey, like man, 16 grams of sugar. I am going to definitely rethink putting this in my tea every day. 
this is going to be a treat for me now because it's a lot of sugar. Okay. So get a log, write down what you eat, write down how many grams for each meal of sugar that you have. Okay. And then total it up at the end of the day. And I would recommend doing that for a whole entire week. And then you can see what is happening. Where is the sugar coming into your food, into your eating that you weren't aware of. And I've been telling my clients, you know, I would love everybody to cut out sugar completely, but I also feel that that's a little bit unreasonable, okay? So your goal should be 20 grams of sugar a day. That's it, okay? So if you have blueberries in your smoothie, frozen fruit in your smoothie, that's 16 of your 20. They, there's yogurt yogurt is a really good dairy products are really good but especially yogurt yogurt has sugar in it so check the yogurt you're getting right check by plain yogurt but by greek yogurt add your own fruit to it right so there are ways that you can reduce the amount of sugar but i want you to check it and i want you to have a goal of 20 grams of sugar per day and that's it okay so i hope that this was helpful I hope that gave you some things to think about. Um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that it's helpful. Please feel free to share this with whoever you like. Send me some comments, any, anything that you would uh, like to learn about in future videos. I'm happy to uh, oblige and do that for you. If you are interested in a food log, a food um, tracking uh, worksheet that I use, please send me a DM and I will get that to you. I'm happy to share that with you. So have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye.